Some people have been, I mean, probably fairly, a little disappointed by the Cybertruck's charging speed. But that apparently is about to change. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Tesla Cybertruck, guys. Now, I was having a discussion with some people in China this week about which two EVs I would personally own. If, if I could own, well, not just EVs, in fact, if I could own any two cars in the world, what would they be? One of them is the Cybertruck. But I've got to admit, it's true that the charging speeds are not quite what we thought they'd be. That said, a lot of people have been saying, I've been saying this, I know I've been called a Tesla Homer because I said it, but anyway, whatever. I've been saying that there was an over-the-air update I thought would come and it would improve Tesla's charge, the Cybertruck's charging speed. And well, apparently it's about to, it's about to arrive. Coming soon via over the air is what Tesla's lead engineer for the Cybertruck, Wes Morrill, said on X about an update that will improve the not great, not bad, but not too bad Cybertruck charging speed. Software improvements will be most beneficial to Cybertruck owners who often use superchargers. Now, guys, this is a, a, an impression that if you use superchargers regularly, your battery pack in your Tesla EV um, or your other EV will be damaged by this. Now, we don't really know if that's true in non-Tesla EVs. Could be, maybe, I don't know. We do have enough data though from different data collecting sites to know that if you supercharge your Tesla battery, it doesn't actually make any difference to its long-term health. And I know, I know a lot of people are gonna go, what? No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, Viking. Don't, you can't say this. It's true, there's heaps of research now on in fact, I believe 13,000 Teslas that have been tested over the long term and half of them were, were used for daily, almost daily supercharging. The other half were not and there was no difference in terms of battery longevity. Anyhow, these updates were announced in April by Tesla's SVP or former SVP, I should say, of powertrain and energy, Drew Baglino, who said that the over-the-air fixes would increase the average range replenishing rate of up to 154 miles in 15 minutes. We don't know exactly how fast it's gonna be, but I believe these charging improvements will apply to the Cyber Beast and also to the uh, dual motor version as well. On the current software version, a 15 minute charge at a Tesla supercharger um, adds 128 miles of range to the Cyber Beast and 136 miles of range to the all drive version. So strange, I don't know why that is, but anyway, apparently that's the case. What this will happen, what will happen now is though that the Cybertruck will be able to add 154 miles of range in uh, yeah the same time. So in a, only about 15 minutes. So it's a charging improvement of 13% for the dual motor and 20% for the Cyber Beast. To tell you the truth, that's pretty good. It's still not that fast in comparison to some of the EVs that I've seen over the last week in China. One of them coming to Australia, it's the Zika 009, and that can charge at 550 kilowatt charging. Now, of course, that's the peak. It's not gonna run at that speed for the entire charging curve, but it means you can add a lot more range than that in 10 minutes. But yeah, you need to be able to find a charger to actually use. In China, that's not a problem. Outside of China, there are no 550 kilowatt chargers yet for EVs, for standard EVs, but there will be. Give it a few years or maybe less. Another issue with a Cybertruck um, that can be experienced by owners that will be fixed is, um, well, f charging speeds are reduced when the battery is a very low state of charge. When Cybertruck drivers pull into a supercharger with close to 0% energy left, the truck or the Cybertruck sometimes wrongly tells it to charge very, very slowly. And apparently there's an upgrade coming for that. Now, keep in mind that the majority of Tesla's chargers are not actually intended for the Cybertruck. They're intended for Model 3s, for Model Ys, for Model S and Model X, which have a 400 volt architecture. New Tesla chargers, the version four, will be intended for um, charging the Cybertruck. And those will be capable of charging the Cybertruck at 350 kilowatt charging speeds, which would be significantly quicker than even this over the air update. There's not many of those around though. There's not many version fours. There's a few in Australia. There's a few in America, a few in Europe. And eventually there'll be quite a few of them. I don't know how many, but eventually there will be. And those will be able to charge a Cybertruck at 350 kilowatt theoretically. And that's pretty fast. That's a pretty good charging speed. Is it fast enough? What do you guys think? Is 350 kilowatt fast enough for an EV? 
I mean, if you're gonna pay this kind of money, what kind of charging speed would you expect? Let me know in the comments, guys. Great to be back. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.